Good morning, friends. I hope that you're starting your day off well. Today for us is a rather significant day and for many people who are watching this video because today is the first day that the kids are back to school in Miramichi. So here we go. We've been praying about this and praying for the teachers and praying for the students for a long time. And now I think that we have the perfect psalm as we move to this stage of our journey with COVID-19. That is a psalm that reminds us of who's in control. So today, uh, whether or not you have kids or you're a teacher who's going back to school, um, this is still a wonderful psalm for you because Psalm 136 is just a psalm for the people of God, reminding them of the power of God and the love of God. In fact, love is the most important thing in this psalm, as you'll see, because it's the love of God that we depend on through all of the trials that we face in our lives. So turn in your Bible with me, if you would, and let's read Psalm 136 together. Now, um, this is one of those psalms that's actually quite, uh, it's got an echo. And I mean that in the literal sense, there's a response. Everything that I say, there's a response to it in the psalm. And so we're, I'm going to read the call and the response, but usually it would be much more comfortable in the kind of thing that's done where somebody responds to me. But we can read this together and just let our hearts be the responder as we uh, read it. So let your heart say these words as we say them now. The psalm begins, Psalm 136, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His love endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, his love endures forever. Who by his understanding made the heavens, his love endures forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters, his love endures forever. Who made the great lights, his love endures forever. The sun to govern the day, his love endures forever. And the moon and stars to govern the night, his love endures forever. To him who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, his love endures forever. And brought Israel out from among them. His love endures forever. With a mighty hand and outstretched arm, his love endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea asunder, his love endures forever. And brought Israel through the midst of it, his love endures forever. But swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, his love endures forever. To him who led his people through the desert, his love endures forever. Who struck down great kings, his love endures forever. And killed mighty kings, his love endures forever. Sion, king of the Amorites, his love endures forever. And Og, king of Bashan, his love endures forever. And gave their land as an inheritance, his love endures forever. An inheritance to his servant Israel, his love endures forever. To the one who remembered us in his, our low estate, his love endures forever. And freed us from our enemies, his love endures forever. Who gives food to every creature, his love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven, his love endures forever. Whew. Reading that one's actually quite, I need to catch the air. Okay, um, what shall we say as we read this? So it's interesting. It starts out with this, this beautifully high view of God himself, beginning with him being the, the God of gods, the Lord of lords, the pinnacle, the one who created the heavens and the earth. He walks us through creation, and then he walks us through the redemption of Israel out of slavery, the, the covenant of his promise with them and the fulfillment of that covenant as he takes them not only out of Egypt, but through the desert and through the desert into Canaan. And you'll notice this emphasis that we saw last week too on Sion, king of the Amorites, and Og, king of Bashan. And those were specific evil kings who um, attacked Israel, excuse me, who attacked Israel and who God attacks back. And God leads them to their victories. So 
it goes on to the inheritance, but then it roots itself really for us in verses 23, 24, 25, and 26, where it, I love this. He remembers us in our lowest state. Now, how many Psalms have we read that have talked about us being in our lowest state? There's many that I can think of. And um, of course, as well, there's Hannah's song and there's the Magnificat um, and there's the Beatitudes all reminding us that God is a God who looks on us as we are lowly and lifts us up from our low position. This is the God that we serve, this beautiful God who uh, delights in those who are meek and those who are humble. Um, he's not looking for the most powerful. He's not looking for the most intelligent. He's looking for the ones who in their humility can reach out and put their trust in him, who can remember that his love endures forever. So as you're going to school today, sending a child to school today, as you're going to be teaching today, as you've uh, got all sorts of challenges that you might be facing, it's good to be able to root yourself in the truth that God has it prepared, that his love endures forever, and that you can walk and rest comfortably in what he has already done. Be humble before him and let his strength be your guide. For he is the one who gives food to every creature. Do you have to worry about where your next meal comes from? You might think you do, but if you trust him, then just as he feeds the sparrows, so he will feed you. And give thanks to the God of heaven. Why? Because his love endures forever. So we have this God who remembers us. I skipped one in verse 24. Freed us from our enemies. Um, there are many enemies. And he is the only one, both the, so the three enemies of the Christian are the world, the flesh, and the devil. And Christ has defeated all of them on the cross. So we come to him now, resting in what he has done, remembering what he has done, because his love endures forever. And what's our posture in all of this? How are we supposed to go into the day? Well, with verse 26 in our heart, give thanks to the Lord, the God of heaven. Why? Because his love endures forever. So let's pray. Father, we praise you that you are the king of creation, that you have created it all, shaped it for your glory and your splendor, that you have set the stars in their place, that you have uh, ordered the nations as you would, that you took the people of Israel out of slavery and that you bring us out of slavery through Christ that you gave them an inheritance in a land, and you have given us an inheritance in your Son. And we are made a people united, a living temple, a holy priesthood to walk and to worship you and to declare to the nations that you are the King of peace and that your love endures forever. We pray for those that are hurting today, that you would be their comfort and their shield. I thank you for the good news I heard yesterday morning about Fernando, that... Um, He's not doing as badly as we had kind of heard before. We thank you for the improvements that he's seen. We can pray that you would continue to bless him and strengthen him. We pray, Father, for um, others, including Madison, who have had success in the week. We thank you for hearing our prayers there, and we pray that you would bless her in the next part of her journey as well. Lord, we pray that in all of this, the trials and the tribulations that we pray for, and the people that are hurting, the children that are going back to school, those who are working in prisons, those that are facing hard weeks and hard, lonely times. We pray for your comfort and we pray that we would be able to declare to them as we declare to ourselves that you are good and that your love endures forever. Father, we pray that we would see that as you take mercy on our nation and on a world that is broken and in bad need of badly in need of mending. May your spirit and your church uh, begin your mending with your church, Father, that we may mend the world around us, the relationships around us, the neighborhoods, the communities, the schools, the cities, and um, that people may see you in us and know that your love endures forever. We praise you for that, Father. Amen. Well, friends, I did that. Thing. And I know that it's easy to drift off with Psalm 136. So that thing being, I read Psalm 136. I'd encourage you to go back and read it out loud. It's a little bit of a challenge, but I like the way the repetition catches in your brain when I read it. So 
uh, do it. See how it affects your day. That's the experiment to ask. Well, I hope that you all have a blessed and beautiful day. Bye-bye.